Find this integral. And the diagram shows the curve y equals 6x to the 3 over 2. And part of the curve y equals 8 over x squared minus 2. Which intersects at the point 1, 6. Use integration to find the area of the shaded region enclosed by the two curves and the x-axis. Okay, let's have a look at that then. Here's the summary of the question then. So this integral first then, so part A, um, let's label it i, this integral value, i is equal to, well let's expand the bracket first then. So we've got x cubed, uh, and then it's minus 6x squared, and then the next one is plus 4x, and then plus times a minus, 4 6 is a 24 minus 24 dx. So we've expanded the bracket, now we can do the integration. Power rule, raise the power by 1, divide by that number. Minus 6 lots of, raise the power by 1, divide by that number. Plus 4x, this is a 1 here by default, raise the power by 1 to 2, divide by that number. And the constant integrates to constant times x, plus a constant of integration at the end. Let's tidy it up then, so it's x to the 4 over 4. This is 2, isn't it? 3 goes into 6 twice, so it's 2x cubed. 2 goes into 4 twice, so it's plus 2x squared, minus 24 lots of x plus k. So that's part A. Now part B, we need to work out this area here. This is the curve 6x to the 3 over 2. It meets here, so this area would be could divide it into 2 if we drop this vertical here. This is the value 1. When does this equal naught? So we need to find out that. Well, we can see that when x is 2, this will be 8 over 4, which will be 2 minus 2. So we can just see it by inspection, really. So that value is 2. So the area will equal the integral between naught and 1 on this side of these strips, integral y dx, and then that case is 6x to the 3 over 2, and then plus the area between 1 and 2 of this one, 8x to the minus 2, that is, isn't it, minus 2, just move the x squared up to ground level, flip the index, dx. So there's the two integrals then added together to get the area. So what have we got then? 3 over 2, add 1, 5 over 2, divide by 5 over 2, uh, and that needs to be evaluated between 0 and 1, and plus, raise the power by 1, 8x to the minus 1 over minus 1, minus 2 integrates to 2 times x, and that needs to be evaluated between 1 and 2. So what have we got here then? Well, that's equal to... Uh, the 2 swings up to be with the 6 to make 12. x to the 5 over 2 over 5. And that needs to be worked out between 0 and 1. So we've just moved the 2 up to be with the 6 there. Plus, bracket. Now there's a minus here and a minus here, isn't there? So we can take this minus and put it outside here. Why not? So put the minus outside, because it's common. And that will just leave 8 over x uh, plus 2x. We could have taken a 2 out as well, um, but we'll leave it in there now that we've written it. So what have we got then? Put 1 in here. 1 to the 5 over 2 is 1. So this is 12 fifths. That's the top value. Take the bottom value, put 0 in, we get 0. That's the bottom value. Minus top value, 8 over 2 plus 2 times 2, which is 4. Take away bottom value, 8 over 1 now, plus 2 times 1, which is 2. That's the bottom value. Close bracket. Let's see what we got then. So that's equal to 12 over 4, 5 is 2.4, because it's 24 over 10, which is 2.4, minus, now we've got this whole thing here. This is 4 plus 4 is 8, 4 plus 4 is 8, minus 
8 plus 2 is 10. So we've got 2.4. This is minus 2 in here. So it makes it plus 2. Plus 2 equals 4.4. .4. And that would be units squared because it's a measure of area.